Hello and welcome to Daily Racing Forms coverage of the Stronach 5 wager. I'm handicapper Byron King and I'll be taking a look at the Stronach 5 for Friday, May the 17th. It's a sequence that includes two stakes from Pimlico Racecourse where it is Black Eyed Susan Day. So let's go ahead and take a look at the sequence. We start off with leg A, Pimlico's 10th race, the Pimlico Special. 14 horses were entered in here. I'm going to go with three runners, You're to Blame, the 13, Rally Cry, the 2, and War Story, the 1. Hopefully three is enough to get past this leg. You're to Blame is preferred based on how he did last year when stretched out in distance. He really relished the added ground and I think he will like it here in the Pimlico Special, which this year is a mile and a quarter race. On we go to Pimlico's 11th race, the Black Eyed Susan. Here I think always shopping the six, winner of the Gazelle, looks rock solid. Her connections bypass the Kentucky Oaks in favor of this race. Plenty of pace to set up her rally. She's two for two at a mile and an eighth. Very sharp this year. Hard to fault. The one I would back her up with would be Point of Honor, the eight. Won her first two starts before a fourth in the Gulfstream Park Oaks in a race that unfolded with a slow pace. A faster pace would be anticipated in the Black Eyed Susan. Santa Anita's fifth race, it's time to single one. In order to keep this ticket cost down, got to take a stand somewhere, so let's go with Teacher's Treasure, the six. Speedy, consistent filly. She comes off a race on dirt, but she's handled turf before. And here they're sprinting five-eighths on the grass. I think she's well suited to the conditions, the company, the surface. So we'll go with a single, Teacher's Treasure, the six. Gulfstream's 10th race is leg D, and I thought this race was anyone's race. Decided to use five horses, JoJo's Dream, the three, Strike Midnight, the five, Fire on Fire, the six, Diamond Bachelor, the two, and Street Code, the seven. Very little separates this group. JoJo's Dream is narrowly picked on top due to being in the exact in eight of 13 turf starts. Comes off a layoff, but is proven fresh. Finally, we close it out at Golf, Golden Gate's fifth race, a non-winners of two claimer where it's hard to trust any one particular horse, so I decided to use three runners. Cosa Nostra, the six, Rustic Canyon, the two, and Kid Arcade, the five. Costa Nostra has a poor ratio of wins to starts, but does take a sharp class drop and hence is the top pick. But again, I recommend three in that final leg. Put all these horses together and you have a $90 ticket with the $1 minimum of the Stronic 5. Good luck however you play the wager on Friday.